Okay, I want to go over the addition and subtraction formulas for cosine and sine a little bit. I want to show you a couple of examples. The first one is to find this. So we have sine of 3 pi fourths minus sine of pi 6. My whole point of showing you this part is just to reinforce to you that you're not all, just because you see a negative sign doesn't mean you're always going to use these formulas. So we know that sine of 3 pi fourths is square root 2 over 2, and sine of pi sixths is 1 half, <clears throat> and therefore the answer here is actually just square root 2 minus 1 over 2. That was really easy. So none of this crap was necessary, was it? All right, let's look at a second problem. I'm actually going to erase this if you don't mind. Let's look at a second problem where we do need to pick a formula and then do something about it. So here we go. So the second, in the second problem, we're asked to do this. We're asked to find sine of 7 pi 12. So I keep having students ask me, how do I know when I should use something? Well, what is, <laughs> what is sine of 7 pi 12? So I go to the unit circle. I'm looking around the unit circle, and I realize, hey, that's not there. So I ask myself kind of, what do I know? What do I know? And what I decided to use was this. I decided to use sine of 3 pi fourths, because I know that, minus pi 6. And I, I can hear somebody out there going, Charlie, how would I possibly have picked that? Look, <clears throat> I'm going to repeat to you. It's just a game. And I'm just, this is what the game I'm playing. I'm like, okay, can I get something to add or subtract to what I want? So I'm going to take my 3 pi force up here. I'm going to multiply it by 3 over 3, which is just 1, isn't it? Because I'm looking for these twelfths right here. And I get 9 pi twelfths. Are you with me? So I have 9 pi twelfths, 9 pi twelfths. And then I'm going to look at this other piece here, and I'm going to be like, oh, and I'm looking, figuring, can I get to twelfths with this one? And I can. I can take that, I can take my pi sixth, multiply that by one using two over two, and I get two pi twelfths. So, and I can, two pi twelfths, so two pi twelfths, and that's how I got that. But when I put it in here, I want to show it how I got this off the unit circle. But this is the, the side math that I was doing the whole time to try to get to what I was looking for. From there, I have to go up here and I have to pick the rule that I'm going to use. And this is the rule that I'm going to use, right? So this is where we're going to sit now. And I'm just all I'm going to do from here on out is I'm just going to fill in the blanks. This I have this figured out, I think. So I'm going to use this rule right here. So I'm just going to say that sine of 3 pi fourths minus pi 6, which we agreed, what, which we agreed is 7 pi twelfths, right? is the same as saying, right, now I'm just going to use this rule, sine of u, well, sine of u, so we have sine of 3 pi fourths times cosine of v, so what is cosine of pi sixth? Well, cosine of pi sixth is one half, isn't it? Cosine of one half. Just filling in the blanks. I have a little bit more work to do. Then cosine of u. So cosine u is the first term. So that's that 3 pi fourths. And cosine is negative square root 2 over 2. And I'm keeping track of these two negatives here. Right? Whoops. Minus, sorry, cosine of 3 pi fourths. I start to fill in the values. Times sine of v. And v is pi 6, so sine of pi 6, right? I have to admit to you, I normally would not be showing this much of my work, but because we're figuring this out for the first time, but this is actually the work in green is what I, what I actually would have showed here. I would have showed this for sure. I would have showed this for sure and set it equal to sine of 7 pi 12 and said these are equivalents. And then here, instead of doing all this crap, I would have taken this and sine of that value, right? sine of 3 pi fourths is square root 2 over 2, right? 
cosine of my pi sixth is one half, isn't it? Minus cosine of three pi fourths is opposite square root of two over two. And again, I'm keeping track of my negative signs here. And sine of pi sixth is one half, isn't it? And it is, so I'm just gonna do some math here. And I'm gonna get here square root two over four plus square root two over four, which is equal to two square roots of two over four, which is equal to, right? Now I'm just gonna, I'm just messing with this bit right here. So two over four is one half, isn't it? So I take it like that, I think. And there's my final answer, all right? I'm going to just try to reiterate to you guys, this is just a game. And if you're taking it as more than a game, then, then it's going to be really hard to do. So I, I'm admitting to you, frankly and honestly, this didn't just pop into my mind. I had to actually work this out a little bit. And how was I working it out? Well, I was working it out, and if you were standing here with me, you'd see I'm standing here in front of a copy of the unit circle, and I'm checking through and making sure I'm doing all this right. Now, I feel pretty comfortable with me having memorized unit circle, but I'm doing this video for you, so I didn't want to screw it up. But please remember this is just a game and that sometimes it's not necessary to do this. Sometimes it is, all right? Okay, you guys. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, and all, also, remember your comments are always welcome. Stop saying bad stuff about my mom. That's just not